This is midnight confessions, midnight driving confessions, okay? <laughs> so last time I had a bathroom emergency. It was sixth grade, which is kind of late. And uh, I was, I was, it was middle school, my first year in middle school. Uh, and I was on the magazine club. And I was supposed to do cartoons. I never drew a single cartoon for them. But I was on the club. And we were doing interviews uh, after school. So I I walked around uh, with, with the interview crew and I never actually interviewed anybody. I was just there the whole time. I think they, I didn't actually contribute anything ever. Um, and I started needing to go to the bathroom. As, as one teenage boy does, or preteen boy does. Um, <laughs> and I, I went, I ran to the bathroom, and it was locked. <gasps> yeah, if, if, if I could see you right now, I'd do a dramatic zoom in. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I was like, oh crap. So I ran to the next bathroom, that one was locked too. And the whole time I had a growing pressure in my bladder. <laughs> oh no. So I, I, I was like, oh my god. And I, I, I walked back to the place where they were interviewing. And I was like, uh, guys, is there a bathroom? And they said, no, all the bathrooms are locked. And this is a major oversight, I think, because there are still people on campus. Where do we, where do we go pee? I knew exactly where to go pee. So I went outside and my bladder was quaking. <laughs> and then suddenly I feel a, a relieving and also terrifying rush of liquid down my legs. A warm, warm welcoming feeling that would be welcoming in like a bathroom but not anywhere else <laughs> and um, it went on for a while I was just standing there in the middle of the quad <laughs> I was I was terrified I was looking around and nobody was there <laughs> and <laughs> I just had this stain going down my pants um, <laughs> and it was I, I was so terrified and um, so then I had to I had to go to a supervisor and I said, Can you please call my parents? <laughs> um, <laughs> and then and then <laughs> and then so they called the parents and then they were like, Okay, you're gonna have to wait for them to get here. And it was like that prime time program, you know? Yeah. Uh, so I was like, okay, um, and I looked down and I was like, you know, it's kind of an even distribution of staying here. It went down both legs. Oh, no. And I was like, this in my in my in my preteen mind, I was rationalizing it as um, as uh, like it looked like it was intentional. <laughs> like like these special pants that had darker areas <laughs> in the middle. <laughs> I was like, I look like a cowboy, I think I'm good. <laughs> Looking back on it now, it's probably terrible. It looked so obvious, probably. It probably smelled obvious. Yeah, so I walked into the, there's a big, we used the multi-purpose room for a hangout area, and I just no. waltzed in. <laughs> and I was like, I gotta wait, so I'm gonna stand around with a group of kids playing Super Smash Brothers. No. No. I, they were just playing Super Smash Brothers, and then this kid joins them. He's standing in the back of the group, and he smells like piss. Um, and then, and then my grandparents came to. It was my grandma, and she had a towel. So I walked, I walked back with a towel. Um, to the car and my sisters were there in the car because they couldn't be left alone and um, and it was, it was the worst ride home of my life. Was your grandma was your grandma talking to you about it? I think I think she was trying to reassure me but in my mind I already knew my career as a school kid was ruined. <laughs> Wait, did anyone at school notice? Nobody ever mentioned anything um, and Thank I think God. I you think they noticed that. 
think they noticed and then they just either stopped talking to me or just they knew me from then on as that kid who pissed his pants. Uh, you know, that's, I don't know what's worse, them making fun of you every day for it or them not talking about it. Both is equally bad. I like it when they talk about it because I'm like, the elephant's in the room, what you gonna do about it? Yeah. I think I think I've lived my whole life as that they were like it's that kid that weird kid who pissed his pants and I've lived my whole life with that social stigma but I never noticed <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was yeah. completely oblivious to yeah, how sucks. people thought of me and then um, looking back on everything oh. all my whole life now I'm like I was that kid what's worse someone thinking poorly of you or someone thinking poorly of you because you pissed yourself Alex um Someone thinking poorly of you, I think, because it runs a little deeper. It, it happens. Piss happens. Yeah. Um, we've all been there, I think. <laughs> yeah. I hope so. Yeah. I, you know, I feel bad for the kid who did not piss his pants. Yeah. He's probably got cancer in his bladder now. Because yeah. oh, okay. he held it all in, and then like mold started growing, and then 